Trevor, you got to go through it all again down in turn one here. That's right. So this is anybody's ball game right here in this fight so far. Big yeah, one down, down on the back the straightaway. That's uh, Eric Bostrom walking away from, it looks like anyway, it looks like his leathers. No, it looks no, like Tommy. Not. Okay, it is Tommy Hayden, I believe. And there's another bike down too, a blue one. We'll get a quick check on the numbers, but back up front, among those still upright, it is still a battle going on as they dive in there again. Turn two, heading towards the International Horseshoe, past the scoring tower. And it is Curtis Roberts back to the front once again. And hacking up the inside right now. He takes the move on Nicky Hayden right at the inside. He's going to follow his buddy Curtis Roberts to the finish line. Maybe help him out a little bit, Brian. Our great crew in the truck has queued up a replay of the crash that just happened a few moments ago as Hacking's looking for the lead again. Take a look. Oh, no. Coming out of the chicane. You want to call this one, Scotty? Uh-oh. This is not good. I can't tell who that is. That might be Anthony Gover, it looks like, maybe. Yates is down on the apron. And Tommy Hayden's Kawasaki end over end. That's not good. There were 10 guys going in there together, and now there's five left in the race. So. Unreal. Looked like one of the Goberts hit the wall, and uh, Tommy Hayden had to check up and couldn't do it quick enough. Big collision out there, but.